Hi ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. In this video I'm going to show you how I build my uh, timber frame cabin in my back garden. To start I'm just going to be digging out the back section of my garden to get a nice flat part. got a big area there that I can use, so uh, that's where I'm going to be putting it. I've not got a skip or anything, I'm just dumping all the uh, soil that I'm digging up down the side where it's all covered up by bushes anyway so it doesn't really uh, get in the way. Now that I have all the land dug out and nice and flat, pretty flat. I'm just going to get rid of all the bushes that I cut down. Uh, this is a trick a friend of mine taught me. I took this old lawnmower, which is really powerful, and it just ate through it like as if it was no problem. Got rid of all the stuff that I had there, I had loads of it. You could see how that lawnmower just turned all those bushes into just a bunch of powder, a bunch of nothing, which would just dry out and decompose back into the ground. These are the foundations I'm using. They are um, telephone poles that I've cut into two foot lengths. And I'm going to be concreting them into the ground with a bit of postcrete. To connect the frame onto them I'm going to be using a threaded rod, a one inch threaded rod and therefore I'd be able to adjust them all if there's any movement. For the majority of this build I'll be using 5x5 five five pieces of timber in large. Here you can see how long it's been since the first time I cleaned the land. You can see all the weeds have grown over, but that's fine because I'll soon be building over them and they'll be gone.
but these uh, floor beams are a bit longer than than here I didn't cut them so just stick them on on one of the end ones one of the sills and mark that's I know that's the inside and then I can just mark two and a half in longer than the other ones All the frames have done a dry fit. I've uh, drilled the holes for the pegs and I've drawboard them. So I've... this hole here is an eighth of an inch closer to there. So first I drilled this hole, pulled it out, and then I drilled this hole afterwards. So I'm going to peg them now. I've got a load of pegs that I made. 
some oak kegs. So now I'm going to put it together and then hopefully that's the base done. base done now all I need to do is connect it to the foundation things now the reason I've not done it until now is this post here is a bit too far out so I'm gonna have to dig up now because all the other three are on point I'll show you that's bang on the center of that beam that's bang in the corner there's another one right here, which is pretty much almost on centre. Which uh, there's a drain under there, so I couldn't put one under there. But if you see this one, that beam is on the wrong side of that. I measured that wrong, so um, I'm just going to move all this. This one's still a bit a bit wet, so I'm gonna wait for that one to dry. But what I've done here is I've drilled it all the way through. And then that's gone, made a mark inside the one that's in the ground. Then when I move the frame out of the way, I know exactly where to drill. And then these are the threaded rods that I'm gonna stick in. 
The only thing is the hole I just drilled is only 22 mil and this rod is one inch. So what I'd have to do is I'd have to thread it through like that. So I'm gonna thread it into the into the um, underneath one, but through here I'm gonna widen this hole so it's a bit looser. It's gonna be two nuts with a washer on top so I can tighten it and loosen it I can lift them up and down and then the whole uh, frame will sit on this so a 10 mil thick steel plate with a one inch hole in it Instead of threading this one into the ground, I decided after the first one, I'm just going to whack him in with the hammer. It did a really good job. I should have done that in the beginning. This is the drill bit that I have for my threaded rods. It's not long enough to reach here, so I'm just going to drill a hole through here, whack the thread through, and that should make a mark on there. <laughs> Yeah. 
that was fun that's it for part one hopefully see you on part two if you've enjoyed watching please like and appreciate it if you could subscribe it helps the channel hopefully see you on the next episode where you'll see some fun stuff some milling and some other cool stuff and um, thank you for watching see you soon